What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another XDL Draft League video. I guess DL is, is you know, Draft League, so I just said uh, X9 Draft League, Draft League video. Like, I, I said it twice is the point. Anyways, today we're going to be taking on Visually. We're probably not in the running for playoffs at this point. Uh, I just, you know, I'm just going to have fun with the rest of the season. Run some fun sets and I don't really care much for winning at this point. It's mostly just like I want to do my best to get some fun videos in at this point. Which is typically how it goes when I join draft leagues. I'm not that great at draft, but today we're going to be using this team against Visually. We have a Light Clay Morgrim. We have Physical Weakness Policy uh, Colossal. We have a Choice Scarf Sneasel. Evil Light Dust Clops. We actually have Giga Impact uh, Assault Vest of Arizion. And we have a Life Orb Magic Guard um, Reuniclus. So yeah, it should be a fun battle. Should be a really fun one. Let's go ahead and get into it. And if you guys enjoy this, do me a favor. Try to reach like 100 likes on it, I suppose. Uh, and let's, yeah, let's just do it. I'm, I'm going to have fun with it. Just sent in the GLHF, and let's see what we can do. Uh, I'm mostly scared about PZ. Yeah, there's PZ. So he did end up bringing PZ plus Ndidi, which was what I was prepping for the most. Uh, something that's kind of scary about PZ plus Ndidi is they lower the speed of your entire team, making it so Dracovish is a lot more difficult to deal with. What's What kind of sucks about that is Dracovish, it gets stronger the slower your team is. So by going for max strike over and over and over and over again, it becomes a very frustrating Pokemon to beat. To circumvent this, I'm actually going to go ahead and bring Morgrim. Because <clears throat> I think that Light Claim Morgrim will help me out a ton. Especially if I end up leading off with, um, like, Morgrim plus... I don't know, I'm tempted to go Morgrim Trick Room because the Trick Room option doesn't seem that bad. I think I'll do that. I actually go Morgrim Trick Room, uh, Colossal, and Reuniclus in the back. That actually seems to be my best bet. Yeah, I like that. Fun fact, we're, we teched Flash Cannon onto the Reuniclus this week, not because it hits anything for super effective in particular, but because it is literally the only move that I saw any merit in running for the NDD plus, um, for the NDD plus Porygon matchup, since, you know, Max Mindstorm is going to hurt Porygon really, really bad, but I just, like, you know, it doesn't get any dark moves, doesn't get any ghost moves that hit NDD because NDD is normal type, so... Figured Steel type was my best bet. Just go for the max Steel Spikes. It might help out in the late game versus stuff like Basharp, but yeah, let's go ahead and see what we can do. I always tend to have more fun when I'm like out of the running for playoffs, to be honest. I just always do, like, because I'm no longer stressed about making playoffs. <laughs> All right. I'm a little congested right now. There's Gengar PZ. Understandable. Have a nice day. Um, <clears throat> I kind of want to scout for a possible taunt on the Gengar. We see Eject Pack Gengar, which is interesting. I'm going to go ahead and set up my light screen. And, man, do I want to scout for taunt? I would imagine you would... Gengar does get taunt, right? I'm pretty sure Gengar gets taunt. Let me double check. <clears throat> he could also go for like a slower Gengar with um a slower Gengar with like Dark Pulse on the like max darkness on the uh, Porygon Z. Yeah, it does get taunt. I want to scout for that. I think he's gonna go for it. Um, I mean, I definitely want to do this, right? I'm gonna go for it. I think I think it's worth it. I think it's worth the risk. <clears throat> As we see a Dynamax coming out turn one, let's see what it is. I'm assuming it's going to be the Porygon Z. So burning through that Dynamax early game is actually going to be, it's going to be kind of great for me, I think. Go for the light screen. Let's see if he has taunt. It's going to be kind of scary if he does. Trick. Ooh, I understand now. I understand now, okay. I actually didn't think about that, which is dumb of me because I saw this on a Weedle Twin Needle video. I don't tank that. I never expected to tank that, to be honest. <laughs> never really expected to tank that hit. But I think having the light screen up is really all I need now. And I'm gonna get switched out of there. I can go to my Reuniclus now. 
And I think my play is going to be to go ahead and Dynamax the Uniclus and go for a Trick Room again. I think Colossal is just going to have to be uh, an afterthought in this game. I don't know how I didn't think about that. I'm dumb. <laughs> Alright, let's go for the Trick Room. And... I should just be able to get a KO on this Gengar. I'm not going to target PZ just yet, because I think I'd rather wait for Trick Room to be up. Because I'm still... I, I'm going to be doing a ton of damage with, like, Magic Guard, Life Orb, plus, um... Plus Terrain up, so I'm willing to just do this. With Light Screen up, I should tank pretty much every hit. Just go for the Shadow Ball. Now let's see how much this uh, Corian Z is going to do. So they do have the Max Phantasm. And I don't survive, yeah. That Eviolite Light would have allowed me to survive there, but unfortunately, not in the cards. Not in the cards. We do pick up one KO though. I'm trying to think. If there's a Dracovish in the back, I'm in major trouble. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume they brought Dracovish to this game. Like, it just makes the most sense. Bring the Colossal out. Ooh, it's Indeedee. Okay, I actually don't mind this now. I don't necessarily mind this. I am gonna reveal physical, which kinda sucks. I don't really like that I have to reveal that. But I should be able to go for like a... Um, I think my play is just going to be to Rock Slide, Max Steel Spike, into this Ndidi. Or I could just Flare Blitz too. I, mean, I have to reveal Physical, which kind of... I, I don't like that, but... I still have a chance to win if there isn't a Dracovish in the back, so I have to take full advantage of that, you know? The NDD follow these makes sense. Let's see a Max Phantasm. Doesn't do too much with the light clay stuff. So, I'll play a little bit smarter next game. At least on lead. I definitely think that the screens are important in this game, but to think about how I use them. When I use them, I guess. Oh, I didn't mean to high horsepower there, I meant to flare blitz. <laughs> My bad. I guess if Flare Blitz would have picked up a KO, which kind of sucks for me, because that would I, that actually would have been phenomenal. You know what I could do, though? You know what I could do? Is I could go for a Rock Slide this turn, and Max Guard, and then next turn I kind of have to Trick Room. If I can get this late game Trick Room off, I'm actually not in a bad spot. I'm going to Max Guard, assuming he's going to go for this um, Hyper Beam. Then I kind of have to bank on a miss. But a late game trick room would be absolutely amazing for me. Ooh, okay. They go for the expanding force. Uh, my best bet is if they somehow miss this, uh, this hyper beam. It's, it pretty much comes down to a Hyper Beam miss, because I'm sure they have it. Let's go ahead and Rock Slide again. Go for the Trick Room, and if I get this off, I think I might win. Shadow Ball. Do I live this? I have screens up. Come on, I need Reuniclus to clutch this. I think Reuniclus might actually take the Expanding Force. Yes! Oh, I think I win. I think I win. I connect the Rock Slide in both? Yeah, I think that's a win. Because I just click Expanding Force Rock Slide for the rest of the game. Or Expanding Force should always KO the, um... 
Should always KO the Porygon Z. So technically my play is going to be expanding Force Plus Flare Blitz. Because I, if I miss a Rock Slide and the Pori and the Indeedy somehow lives in Expanding Force, I'm in trouble. So I kind of have to do this. There's the Protect. That's fine. Expanding Force should KO. Okay. Pick up the KO. Awesome. And I'm hoping to see a Dracovish. That light screen came in clutch. Ooh, that actually kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. Um, I can protect this turn, and that would help me out quite a bit if I rock slide and protect. There's the Lando. Okay, actually not the end of the world. I definitely still rock slide protect. I thought I had one more turn of terrain. I forgot that the Ndidi didn't set up the terrain. It was actually my um my Arena Plus. If I can get one flinch, I think I just win. Just follow me. I need to connect on this Ndidi and get this KO. Or, and get this flinch, I think. Alright. Flinch, please. Alright, they have Earthquake. So that's definitely going to KO me. And it comes down to how much Expanding Force can do with the Life Orb. Which we all know, it's it's a pretty good amount, right? It's a pretty good amount, but this is going to be close. And he reveals that he's not Life Orb. Alright, might as well Expanding Force. It's my strongest move. Please pick up the KO. Reuniclus, you got massive special attack. I need you to do this for me. Come on, don't be AV. Ah, that's game. That's game. Okay, good game. Yeah, if I had like one more turn of, um, I think if I had one more turn of Psychic Train, I could have won there. Hmm. All right, let me think. I mean, he didn't lead off with the, um, with what I thought he would. All right, let me, let me, let me think about this. I'm kind of tempted to go with, um, Verizion. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. Little does he know. That I'm running Snarl Sneasel this week. So if he ends up leading off with the Gengar again, that's actually phenomenal for me. And if he doesn't, it's still not the end of the world because I can max Airstream boost. <sighs> yeah, okay. Snarl Sneasel might actually be the wave here. Because I can force out the Gengar early and then max Airstream. In the back, um, I still feel like Morgrim's going to be nice late game. You guys might think I'm crazy, but I think it might be the play. And Dusclops, I'm going to go Reuniclus. It just functions so well as a Trick Room Pokemon. It sets up its own Trick Room. It does a lot of damage if I can take advantage of his terrain. It's it's a it's a really interesting interaction we have going on here with our, with our leads. Okay. I might be able to actually do this with the, uh, with the Snarl tech. Landers and Didi, that's fine, I think. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty cool with this. I'm actually going to Snarl, because... I don't think he's going to be... I mean, he could re he could be running Flylanders, which is kind of scary. Obviously, uh, that's like a pretty scary idea, considering he already revealed physical. Alright, let's do this. Uh, yikes, okay. I'm gonna sack Reuniclus kind of early. No, no, I think... I think I give him Wargrim. Yeah. Yeah, Earthquake, if, you, if he's got Earthquake, he's gotta have Fly. 
I didn't expect the Lando on lead. Just to follow me. Ooh, might have made a bad play there. Rock slide? Maybe he straight up went for the fly. U turn, okay. That kind of sucks <laughs> that I lost that so early, but I also get screens up, which is going to be kind of nice. Let's see what he brings out. Because I do have options. I do have some options here. Dracovish. Okay. Um, I mean, a Reflect feels pretty free here. I could... No, nah, I, I don't go into Verzion here. I think I kind of have to click Max Airstream into this Indeedee and Reflect up. Because that might allow me to keep my Morgrim. Alternatively, I could Giga Impact, because I believe... No, the only thing I'm slower than is going to be that Gengar, and I don't think he brought it this game. I think it's definitely PC. I'm going to Max Strike, because that should KO... What was that? That's 150, Max Overgrowth is... One, I mean, one Max Overgrowth obviously does more. We'll Max Overgrowth the Ndidi, and uh, I'll get my Reflect up. Is that Quick Claw? Okay, not the end of the world. Really not the end of the world. Because I still have priority on my uh, on my Reflect. Just follow me, that's fine. This should KO from this range. And I should keep my Morgrim. Unless it's like Choice Band. Oh wait, I mean, we already know it's Quick Claw, so. Alright. And now I have my Terrain up, which is actually pretty helpful. It's going to be... It's going to allow me to deal a lot more damage to that uh, Landers than I would have otherwise. And I want to say it's possible for the Lando to maybe go for a Protect this turn. Kind of wish I had Sucker Punch, to be honest, because I could Sucker Punch my own uh, Verizion and go for the max overgrowth. And in terrain, I think that would KO the Lando. And there's the Lando. He's got to have Fly. There's no way he doesn't have Fly. Um, I think I prioritize the Strakovish. Yeah, I'm going to prioritize the Dracovish, uh, mainly because with like a Reflect Up, there's a chance I can get a Trick Room off late game. Probably not, but still. And if I can call Protect on this on this Lando right now, and he just goes for like, I don't know, maybe, I mean, he's cho he's not Choice Scarf, so he's running Quick Claw. Maybe he goes for like a Psychic Fangs and tries to get Chip. Yeah, no protect from the Lando. He's definitely got fly. He's definitely got fly.
That doesn't even come close to KOing. I'm so ashamed of this thing. There's the Airstream, yeah. I mean, that wouldn't have KO'd the Lando either, so it didn't really make a difference. He did have Psychic Fangs, okay. Yeah, so I guess he was going for that. I suppose my out here would be getting a Thunder Wave Paralysis on the uh, on the Dracovish, and getting my Trick Room off, and then clicking Protect and hoping that Expanding Force maybe somehow wins. Yeah. Get the T-Wave off, full pair would be really nice right now. Max Flutter Bite, that's gonna hurt. And Fish is run, yeah, that's game. So GG is to Viz. Obviously the uh, the Lando was a bit of a it, it was a bit of a hurdle to get past. Lando actually has such a great matchup versus my team, and I actually really appreciate that um, he opted for physical instead of special, because by running physical Lando, it actually allows him to hit both the both the Colossal and the Verizon on my team, which is something that my team's really centered around. So that was really smart. And that should seal the deal. Alright. So GG's to Viz. Obviously go sub to his channel. Link will be in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. Check out the rest of the channel. Obviously Draft League isn't really my main deal. If you want to watch some VGC stuff, that's where I sort of do most of my content. So if you want to check that out, I'd appreciate it. And have a nice day. Bye.